Hey guys, this is Gloria. Um, I wanted to come to you and show you a card that I got in the mail today from Audrey. Hey Audrey, thank you so much for the card. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys a haul from Saw Crafters and also I had a small little bitty update on my 300 subby giveaway. So first I'm going to show you guys the card um, that came from Audrey and Audrey sent me this card because I I sent her um, a Spellbinders die that she was looking for. And um, I'm guessing that this is the snowflakes um, from that die. This is absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys can see this um, paper that she used, it feels like it's um, like a plastic or something, but it has like little glitter sparkles in it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure how she made this, if she actually made this paper, or if this paper came this way. But Audrey, you have to let me know where you got this paper from because these snowflakes are beautiful. So I just wanted to give you guys a close up on it. And then she put like little blings all over it. And this paper is really pretty. And I love blues. Blues is like one of my favorite colors. Blues and teals and stuff like that. So I really like this card. And it just says you are so very thoughtful. So thank you so much, Audrey. Audrey is um, so good all here on um, YouTube. And she also has a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, um website and it's so good all I'm sorry so good crafter.com so thank you so much for this car Audrey you did not have to send me anything um, I, I just um, was glad that I could send you what I could um, but thank you and this is going to go on my little shelf that I have for all my little cards and things that people send me so thank you um, the second thing that I have to show you guys is a small haul from Saw Crafters. And Saw Crafters is here on YouTube also. Um, she's Saw Crafters here on YouTube. But she also has a Zibit store. And you can find her at www.zibit.com slash Saw Crafters. And um, she actually has some really nice things. And this is my, I believe my second time ordering from her. And um, I haven't been disappointed yet. So let me show you guys what I got. So I purchased this. This is a um, a mask, a brick wall mask, because I'm like slowly trying to get up my supplies to do a canvas. So this is part of that canvas that I want to do, and I want to put a brick, um, like a brick mask or something, on my canvas. So I got that, and this was really cheap. It was like a dollar and some change, I think. I mean, it was really cheap. Um, the second thing that I brought from there are these little spoons. I thought they were so cute. Although I thought that they were larger than this, but I'm glad that they're the size that they are because, excuse me, I had to open it with my mouth, but I'm glad that they're this size because what I wanted to use them for, actually, I needed a smaller spoon um, because I saw in one of the girls' videos where they took a spoon and they layered pearls on top of the spoon and they used it as a drawer pull. And that's what I wanted to do with these spoons. So I got um, five spoons. Actually, I should have bought two packs. So I have to go back and buy another pack because I think I need at least six spoons to do the little project that I wanted to do. But this is the way the spoons look. And um, I'm not exactly sure how much these are, but if in a minute I'll pull out my invoice to see if I can find the prices. Um, but I got those. So it comes in a pack of five. And then the last thing that I bought were these um, fabric tapes. These are not washi tapes. They're fabric tapes. And I thought they were really cute. Um, the problem is now I have to find other fabric tape that goes with the floral that I can kind of play off of. But these were so cute and I really like the patterns um, that, that they're in. So I bought these three. So that's three of them. And they come individually. They're, they don't come as a set. And then I bought these three. I don't know how I feel about this orange one yet. So, But I bought these three. And then I bought these three. And so the other day I bought some um, white fabric um, adhesive paper from Joann's. And my idea was to make my own fabric tape like this. But I bought the, the fabric tape from Joann's after I put, placed the order for these. But I'm still glad that I got these because I think they're still pretty and you can do a lot with them. So I bought nine rows of those. So And they were very cheap. I, they were like $2 and some change. So that's not bad at all to already be printed. Um, I did make my own kind of fabric things. Well, this is my attempt. So 
I'll show you guys what I did. So I just kind of stamped on this and then I just cut them out and um, I plan on trying to use them on a project. These are just some butterflies, that, polka dot butterflies. And it came out kind of cute. I mean, I have to work with it a little more to make them come out better. But this was my, you know, idea of when I bought the, um, the, the fabric paper or whatever. This was my little idea to make my own little fabric tape. But anywho, so that was um, from Saw Crafter. And then the last thing was I wanted to do an update on my 300 subby giveaway. First off, I wanted to say thank you for everyone that has participated so far. Thank you for the cards that you've made. They have been absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know, I'm looking at the cards and I'm like, oh, yeah, I got that. I can do that. And I can, you know, so it's really helping me out to do these mail cards or whatever um, that I may have to do in the future. But also, um, someone had brought it to my attention that... They didn't want to be judged. Um, and I, I can understand how that may seem and how that may feel. And it may not be fair to everyone. And I want to be fair to everyone because, honestly, I just want this to be just a fun thing that everybody can participate in. And, you know, I'm hoping that I get 100, 300 people that want to make cards. But if not, I want the people that at least want to make cards to feel comfortable with making them. So... I'm going to take back what I said about allowing my sons and my husband to pick the car that they like. I'm still going to show them to them because I just like, you know, their um, take on what a man card should be. Um, but I will do this drawing like I've done my other drawings by just putting the names in a, um, in a little bowl or something and pulling the names out of the bowl. And then that way people feel more comfortable and they don't feel like they're being judged because I don't want anyone to think that we're judging them. That's not That wasn't my intent at all. And I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable because we all are, you know, have different levels of um, creativity and different just levels of how we know how to do things. I mean, I don't know how to do everything and I would, wouldn't want anyone to look at my stuff and be like, no, that wasn't good enough. So I want everybody to be able to play along, everybody to participate. So I am not going to uh, just allow my husband and my sons to pick the name. Um, I'll show them the cards, but I will put everyone's name that does a video response with their mail card. And this can be for a boy, a teenager, a man, whatever. As long as it's a masculine card, I'm going to put everyone's name in a ball and then I'm going to draw one of those names. So I hope everybody understands why I'm changing up the rules just a little bit. I just didn't think about it at the time. So, anywho, you guys have a great night. Um, I hope to come to you later on tonight with another um, project, but I don't know because I'm a little tired today. So anywho, I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good night and God bless everybody.